Hey everyone, it's a beautiful day in Westchester, Pennsylvania, so I decided to come out and do some more battering testing. Uh, basically walking around my block, which is about a third of a mile, as many times as I can. And we're gonna see how long the batteries last as far as how much distance we can get out of it. I've loaded the wagon up here with 200 pounds of stone. We think that 200 pounds is more than the average person will carry to the beach on their daily trek. My test results are likely to be a little more conservative than what you'll see around the beach. I have a little bit of elevation ups and downs uh, around my neighborhood. Uh, likely at the beach, you're gonna be dealing with level terrain. So as you can see behind the wagon here, you got an uphill and as I pan over around the other side, you'll see another hill there. All right, just gonna show you going up this hill here, how there's really no problem at all. Getting up to the top of this hill. And I'm only have the uh, throttle about half engaged. Otherwise it would go too fast. Certainly no problem getting up hills. All right, I hit the point uh, where in the battery where it's giving me issues trying to continue here. Uh, the voltmeter was reading at about 22.5 or so. And then if you just stop and wait a little while, this has gone back up to 23 and it'll continue to go uh, a little bit further. Uh, but then once it gets down below a certain point, uh, the wagon's gonna stop. But you're still able to switch it to neutral if needed with this battery power. And then, you know, push or pull the wagon by hand. So. Even if you do run out of battery power, you're not able to get to your destination, you're able to switch it to neutral uh, and pull it the rest of the way. But like I said, if you wait a little while, this voltage comes up a little bit, then you're able to go a little bit further. Uh, so I would keep an eye on, on the voltmeter here to see how much power you're getting from your battery. And once you get down uh, close to uh, 23 volts, uh, you know you need to uh, recharge the batteries. All right, and now to recap the test results, Total distance travel was about four and a half miles over an hour and a half duration. Uh, the graphic in the middle here shows the route that I took for the test out of the garage and around the block a few times. The graphic on the right here shows how much elevation difference we encountered in the test. The high elevation was 461, low elevation 443, so there was a 18 foot elevation difference. And then each one of these points is how many times I went up the hill. I didn't end up completing the test in one day because I had something to do. Um, this is the point where I went back to the house uh, and then parked it in the garage for a couple nights and it actually got down into the, the 20s uh, the next two nights. So I, did, I do think that impacted uh, the performance of the battery. Uh, and then what was nice again a few days later, I did finish the test. Uh, I did two and a half miles on the first day and two miles on the second day. The first time that the wagon stopped on me, I was going up that hill shown in the video around here. Uh, the wagon basically just came to a stop going up the hill. So I put it into neutral and then pulled it to the top of the hill. Waited a little while. Uh, the batteries charged up a little bit on their own. Uh, and then I continued the test uh, until I ran out of power completely. So the wagon initially stopped at 4.2 miles and then I was able to get another three tenths of a mile out of the batteries before I called it quits. So how does that compare to your beach trek at the Jersey Shore? Typical dune heights at the Jersey Shore about eight to 15 feet. So you really have to go over that dune twice uh, and then deal with relatively level terrain. We think that your typical trip to the beach, you'll get a lot more distance than four and a half miles, especially if you're not breaking it up into multiple days, uh, storing it in very cold weather. If you wanna stay informed on our latest news, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Keep a lookout for our next video, which will show you how to transport the wagon. So until then, we'll see you later.